Ever since I was six months old, my mom decided to have a photo portrait made of me on my birthdays and half birthdays. She kept it up until I left the country uh, at the age of 16 for boarding school in America. A month before I turned 40, I decided to paint each one of these portraits onto a square domestic fabric that my mom had given me, either curtains or furniture fabric samples. After I painted these 32 portraits, the last of which is a photograph a collage, because I wasn't quite 16 yet, it was a makeshift 16-year-old portrait. Um, I decided that um, I needed to figure out what it all meant, so I made this short film in an attempt to struggle further with these portraits and understand the underlying meaning. I had my children help me carry these portraits and parade with them in my backyard. And I have them throw these portraits out of the window, leap over them. My hope at some level is that they would be free from my own childhood experience and be their own free individuals. This is the couch that in my living room that my parents sat on when they came to take care of my newborn baby six years ago. A week before the show opened, I was in Newton Open Studio for the weekend and painted this couch with a, a figures of my parents and the baby and my baby. This couch was pushed on rollers from my house to the new art center with the help of my painting teacher, John Murray, and painting friend, John Breyer, and the gallery manager, Casey Curry. This is a collage of my mother when she was raising me, and it's composed of my childhood portraits that she had made for me diligently every six months or not. Last fall, I made a brief visit to Beijing to see my extended family. My niece, who was six years old, went around the dinner table of the family gathering and took portraits of all the relatives. I use these portraits that are her work to make a portrait of her.